I'm Maura Ranello. Welcome to May Pack Daily. Mayweather Pacquiao is an event that transcends sports with tickets going for north of $100,000 on the secondary market. And come Saturday night, the MGM Grand Garden Arena will be filled with a crowd that resembles a hybrid of the ESPYs and the Oscars. We're endeavoring to bring you a glimpse of the glitz and glamour of Fight Week through a lighthearted lens. Now, Wednesday's press conference marked the first time the two champions were in the same room since launching this historic promotion in March. This is the fight that the world has been waiting to see. So without further ado, Floyd Mayweather. Well, it's time to fight now. You know, you guys came out here to see excitement. You guys came out here to see a great event. That's what both competitors bring to the table, excitement. He's going to do his best on Saturday, and I'm, I'm going to do my best on Saturday to uh, put our name in, in boxing history. Joining me is a man who's uh, covered thousands of press conferences in his distinguished career, my estimable colleague at Showtime Sports, Jim Gray. And Jim, what was your biggest takeaway from Wednesday's press conference? I think it's that everybody got along, Moro. I mean, we've had Freddie Roach throwing out bombs and Manny Pacquiao and... You know, there's been a lot of conversation that's gone on over the course of these several years and trying to put it together. And now we get down to the short straws, just a few days left before the fight. And everybody was wishing each other luck and everybody was thanking everybody for putting them in this position to be there. And we really didn't have the insults flying that can happen at a lot of these press conferences. Uh, I can recall the last time that we uh, all got together on HBO and Showtime for a press conference mm -hmm. like this. And Mr. Tyson bit a leg. <laughs> yeah, Lennox so, Lewis's and Lennox leg. Lewis, and you just didn't know what was going to happen from moment to moment. And I think today, uh, I think they recognize that uh, this fight has an opportunity to go down in the history of the sport as something truly great. What intrigues you most <laughs> from a reporter's perspective going into Saturday's fight? What is the most intriguing storyline? I think the storyline is Manny Pacquiao now can change the course of boxing history. He can lose the zero after Mayweather's name, which would change him from being a terrific great fighter who's a Hall of Famer to being an all-time great mm. if he's able to pull this off. So I think that's the storyline. Will the continued dominance and excellence of Floyd Mayweather and his commitment to dedication and hard work continue as he goes to 48-0, then look to 49-0 with his next fight on Showtime, and then maybe try and get to 50 to beat Marciano? Or will Manny Pacquiao change this direction? Floyd Mayweather does not want that. Great stuff. Look forward to your coverage on Saturday night. Now, the demand for tickets has been well chronicled for Mayweather Pacquiao. Two lucky ladies scored ringside seats, and guess what? They're getting paid to be there. My name is Bo Ramos, production supervisor, special events. We've had a lot of people audition for the ring card girls, and we've finally got two of them. They're here today. Hi, girls. Hi, Jamie. How are you? Hi, good to see Hi Michelle. You. How are you? Congratulations. You. Congratulations. Hi, you. Right now, we're going to go and get you fitted. You're representing the MGM Grand for the fight of the century. All right. Let's do it. Good one. Yes. Let's do it. Good girls. All right. Bye, Bo. OK. Bye. See you guys. Bye. Make sure everything's tucked in. We don't need any wardrobe. We don't want options. any tops coming off in the ring. Here. <laughs> These are very tall hills to climb up. Yes. The little ladder that we have It's probably the hardest part of the whole thing. That is the not difficult. walking. It's getting up that ladder to get into the rope. There's nothing like the energy being in that arena as close to the ring as we are. I always feel the pressure, but this one may be a little bit more just because it's so, so huge. All right, excited to see you all on Saturday. Bye. <laughs> All right, we gotta go change. Gotta be short. Yes. <laughs>
Yeah. It's so hard to call because they're both such an am amazing fighters. I truly believe that they're going to go the t full 12 rounds, and I think it's going to be really, really close. But in the end, I think it's going to be Mayweather. Hey, I would say break a leg, but I'm just going to say yeah. good luck instead. Thanks, Holly. All right, Thank ladies. You. Thank Appreciate you very it. much. <laughs> now, Mayweather Pacquiao might not break the internet, but it is definitely dominating the digital space. You and Floyd ran into each other at a Miami Heat basketball uh, game. Now, is that really where you guys agreed to finally fight? He gave me his phone number, and I gave him my, my phone number. And <laughs> <laughs> this fight is huge, Floyd. <laughs> the biggest fight in boxing history. Who you got in the fight? I got Mayweather going with the money team, baby. Who you got? Pac-Man. I got Sam. Sam going to I'm going to smoke him. Manny Pacquiao is going to win because of his uh, great ability as an orator. Floyd Mayweather is going to win because he does this. Show the world. Does he have a twitch? Pacquiao, the most difficult time of his career, only the people that do 100, over 100 punches around. Floyd doesn't throw nowhere near 100 punches around. I got total respect for Pacquiao, but this guy here is lightning. You will have Justin Bieber with you, <laughs> right? Hopefully. Hopefully everyone is there. Would you like to have me in the ring with you? Fight Justin Bieber. I don't care what has to happen. Kimmel versus Bieber? Hey, I might plunk down a few Canadian loonies on that one. Speaking of betting, we'll have more of the wagering associated with Mayweather Pacquiao on Thursday's show. Guess what? Maypack Daily wants to cover the cost of your pay-per-view party with a $250 gift card. All you have to do is tweet at Show Sports with the phrase that pays hashtag. Tuesday's lucky viewer was Dennis Zambrano. Congratulations. We're going to put a bow on this edition of Maypack Daily by going back to basics with Floyd Money Mayweather. Thank you for watching. I didn't get to where I got to overnight. It took time. It took a lot of time. Never cry, never complain, just work. Going back to where it all started from, chopping trees, things that I was doing from the beginning of my career. That's what I need to prepare me for a fight of this magnitude.